You guys want to learn how to make cool jazz house chords like this? Stay tuned for this video to learn exactly how we made this. Let's do it. Also, we have a 20% off coupon on all of our packs on our website, so go check that out. Code is in the description below. What's going on, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. My name's Parker Immense. We are Excellent Sound. We are back with a brand new video with a brand new artist. I don't know if he's brand new. I, he is brand new. We don't know shit about Blue Eclair, okay? Whatever, what's his name? I know he's probably tasty. He's Blue, probably, Blue Eclair. I do know one thing. This song is fucking sick, and he just dropped a new EP, so if you guys don't know about him, you probably do. You guys usually tell us about people before we know about them. Yeah, I listened to a couple of his songs, and they're fire, Yeah, dude. super dope. This is like Dope yaz, producer. It's like Jazz House, like Yaz House. Yeah, you know? what, what would a Blue Blue Eclair tastes like though. Delicious. Like, Probably like a blue waffle. A little blueberry action in there yeah. with some whipped cream on top. I hate fruit in my desserts, bro. I can't do it. Are you serious, dude? Yeah. 2022 blueberry fucking club. Blueberries are done, bro. Bloobs. Bloobs all the way. They're so 2017, bro. <laughs> blueberry eclairs. I'm good, bro. Bloobs. So yeah, shout out Blue Eclair with this song, Hitless. You guys fucking commented the shit out of us wanting to do this. One of the, the more liked comments that I've seen you guys do, which is pretty, pretty rad. I feel like he's best friends with Dash Star. You know, yeah, I feel they, like they're like yeah. in the same vibe. Wait, is it Dash Star or Knock Two? Knock Two. Yeah, see, I, right. know, I know God people. Damn it. Sorry, Knock Two. We're like a bunch of we boomers. Like, <laughs> who are these people? Boomers of EDM. Yeah, I this song's sick. Go check them out. We're gonna be go doing the remake. You can get the download in the description right now for free if you'd like. Sub to the channel. We're almost at 40k. Probably hit a million before the end of the year. That would be pretty sick. Million and a half. Million and a half. And also, big news. We got a holiday sale going on right now, okay? Yes, we do. That means you can get any one of our packs for 20% off at our store right now. You go to the website, click the link, bam, 20% off coupon, give it to me, bam, put it in, bam, here it comes, 20% off, bam, now you got four packs for $9. Boom. If you want that coupon code, it's in the description. In the description, too. Right down below. You can go right down there. There it is. So go ahead and click the like button, then you click the subscribe, then, then you, the notify button, then the notify then the free download button, then then the coupon, and then you buy everything. You buy our whole library. The entire thing. Cool. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, dude. Merry Christmas. Dude, Gentiles and the Jews, dude. Yeah, dude, here we Putting go. Putting things together here for first, the holidays. Dude. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and be doing this little weird chord thing. First thing I wanted to talk about was this this MIDI. Man, this was hard. We had to get the Berkeley boys in here. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so you can see there's a lot of weird housey chords going on here. This sound is, I don't even know if this is a seventh or an eighth or a ninth or a diminished sus. <laughs> Some really interesting chords. You guys can take a look at it and make it what you want. I'm pretty sure that this song is actually made with a sample. I'm pretty sure this sound is made with a sample. I don't you think, think it's it, a sample? Yes, I do. Because there's some characteristics in it you can kind of tell. But I think we got really, really close as per use because they're bouses. Let's go ahead and start with an initiated patch. I got just a basic sort of sine wave started. Let's just do it with a saw wave first. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear how weird the chords are. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a sine wave like so. Our sine wave looks a little bit different because we were started messing around with this. You guys can go ahead and copy this however you'd like. Uh, yeah, make it look like that. Okay, so first things first, make sure the level is set to around 61% is what we're looking for and minus 8.5, okay? Over here we have the attack at 4.2 for the first envelope right here. This is really important. 4.2, zero for the hold. 506 for the decay, and then we're gonna turn the sustain to minus 21.6, okay? We're gonna get a little bit of pluckiness in here. Okay, nice. And then we'll go ahead and add for the release. We're gonna go ahead and put that to 417. There's that little bounce, that little release, okay? That's sounding real nice. Now let's go ahead and initiate oscillator B, okay? Oscillator B is gonna be just a sine wave and set the level to around here, 61%. Okay, we got those kind of playing together. We're gonna go ahead and make our second envelope. It's gonna look like this. So attack at 0.5, hold all the way down. Decay at 472, sustain down, release at 15 milliseconds. Our first 
filter, it's gonna be an MG low 18, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and make sure that you put on envelope one to the cutoff over here, okay? So make sure you put it on the cutoff and set the cutoff to 29 hertz and make sure envelope one is going up to 80. You're gonna give it a little bit more pluckiness. A little bit of resonance right here, okay? Resonance is gonna help out as well as some drive around 11% and mix all the way up. Turn all the lights on because it feels great. If you guys haven't seen our TikTok, turn them all on. We're feeling good all the time. We always turn them on because it feels great even if it doesn't do anything. Nice, okay, so we're cruising. But let's go ahead and jump into the effects. So for the effects, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use sample and hold. If you hear the original song, it sounds like, that's why I think it's a sample too, is like there's some like weird distorted frequencies and and sort of interesting stuff, sounds like a redux. So we use sample and hold to get that sort of thing going. It's in the miscellaneous right here, just use that one. Set the cutoff to 3196, resonance all the way down, drive all the way down. Mix set to 68%, and then we're gonna go ahead and put on this envelope, envelope two, onto the mix knob and turn it all the way up to 50 sebs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bypass that so you can hear what it's doing. It's kinda it has that like sort of weird, sort of like, almost like bad quality in a sense, like, you know what I mean? It's it sounds like, like almost like, yeah, it's like bit crushed or like kind of vinyl-y. Bit of chorus to kind of get that sort of I don't know if it's like I wouldn't call it tremolo but just sort of that weird sort of spaciness sound that chorus is yeah do. it's kind of like phasey yeah. old sounding yeah exactly like that RC20 kind of vibe yeah exactly yeah so I mean chorus can be used for a lot of cool shit and that's kind of cool that you can kind of do this yourself by using this type of stuff to kind of make it sound a little bit more retro chorus rate is at 0.8 delay is at 5 delay 2 is all the way down depth at 2.4 feedback at 10% and the high pass make sure it's set to high pass you can click it like that and then it's at 2480 or whatever. And then mix at 47%. Let's hear how it sounds. Nice. In the mix. Cool. Now we got to do some processing, but before we get into processing, if you guys want to get this project file and many, many more like this, you can get all the drums, you can get all the presets, everything that we made. Make sure you guys go check out our Patreon. The link is in the description down below. If you guys go and you click that link, you can see we have tons of different tiers from feedback to our legacy YouTube tier to our VIP tier. If you guys check that out, pick which one works for you. And if you want to get this project file, you want to join the legacy tier, you can open that up and you'll see we have tons of project files for you guys all to download with all the sounds and presets in there. And of course our VIP tier, which also includes the project files and exclusive presets and samples for you guys. So check that out and support us on Patreon if you can. We really, really appreciate all our supporters. Thank you. Cool, so now that everything's sounding good, I mean, all these drums are so sick, man. We just gotta get the processing going. I just wanted to just go ahead and just shout out these drums. Oh, quick. What, a, them, what a groove, bro. Blue Claire, dude, shouting out with the fucking grooves, dude. Tasty groove. Yeah, we're flipping, fuck you. Yeah, and I was thinking about it too. This whole genre is very sample based too. That kind of old schooly kind of house vibe, nineties like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Garage. I mean, it's like tech house, but it, yeah, it's like garage. It's very garagey. Yeah. I feel like. Kind of disclosurey, but a little, yeah. a little more modern and like hard hitting. Yeah. You know? If you guys want to see more of this stuff, let us know down in the comments below. So let's get into the processing. You guys can do something similar in any DAW. It's not that hard, really. It's just gonna adding some more of those characteristics, like we were talking about, of like the vintage sort of flair and bringing out some specific frequencies to get. Them. So first thing we have is a little bit of a low cut around here, 88 hertz, and a little bit of dip in the low mids around 297, okay? Cool, that's sounding pretty good. Then we're gonna use erosion. If you don't have erosion, I believe you can do it with the sign, this feature. It's kind of like a redux, but it's more of an actual sign that they're kind of adding, almost like a, it's like a weird FM thing or something. Yeah, it's a more accurate frequency as well, right? You can't yeah. really pick the frequency in redux. Yeah, I don't think you can do this with texture, but you could probably get something close with redux with tuning it, so. Yeah. Adding more of that sizzle, you can do more sample and hold. You can use the sample and hold in serum effects, actually, that'd probably be a good idea. Sounding more and more sort of crushy, sort of disabled, sort of like vintagey, right? Okay. It's like a smaller distortion as well. Yeah, it's almost know? like adding like a vinyl to it in a way, but like it's bit crushed. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, it's bit crushed. Uh, and then we use OTT gain comp. This is just a preset we have saved. Pretty much OTT, but with uh, output set to 10, 14% for the amount on this one, and then 500 for the time. <laughs> bring out some of those frequencies. You guys want to make your shit bigger, put OTT on it. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Everyone's like, oh, what do I do? Put OTT on it. True, <laughs> like, and true. watch our videos and look how we do it, with o how we use OTT and shit will get bigger. We you change our... OTT all the time. Yeah, like, all Every the time. different video, it's something different, yeah. so. But it's definitely gonna make things more present that you need to be more present. That's yeah. the main way to use it. And then we have a little bit of an audio effect rack right here. It's pretty simple. You can just kind of make a dry and a wet chain. The wet chain is going to be a delay. Now this delay is a simple delay. You have a dry wet here, 
so you can adjust it how you want. But if you make a simple delay with 21.6, essentially with milliseconds and feedback around 18 and ping pong, that, that's the wet channel minus 1.8. Um, so that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and let's get more. Yeah, the very first chord has this very specific reduxy thing, and I think that's because of him using a redux on the sample that only hits at that one specific frequency. I'll show you how we kind of did that in a minute. It's basically with this patch. Let's go ahead and add a redux. Make sure it's set to soft and set it to 3.56. <laughs> adding more of that sort of sizzliness vintage vibe. Next, we have a dry, wet uh, reverb rack. This is pretty simple. It's just a reverb and a glue compressor set to you know very, very high at 6%. You can low cut it if you want. You can high cut it. We usually like to low cut our reverbs. It doesn't really matter. It does matter. It Danny. does matter. You're right. Cut your fucking lows on your reverbs. Not always. I, I would say most of the time. I think, uh, yes, uh, most of the saying? time, that drives me nuts. It drives me nuts that reverbs don't have their lows cut sometimes because it really adds a lot of mud. Unless it's a specific sort of sound that you're going with and there's yeah. a nice amount of space for it, cut your fucking lows. There's dude. a reason there's EQs built into reverbs. That's you right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If they weren't built into a reverb plugin, you shouldn't do it. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Yeah, take that part out because that shit's not doing anything. So we realize you don't really need a glue compressor at all. So just use a reverb. We weren't even using it. I tripped out. Uh, another EQ low cut over here around 93.8 and then a little bit of mids and then some highs pulled up. See all this little shit right here? That's all like the erosion and redux and sample and hold, all these little things right here. Cool, that's looking good. Next, let's go ahead and add a saturator to give it a little bit more of the overdrive, so it's soft clip on. Letting that natural sort of characteristic of it being overdriven, and then we're gonna clean it back up. This delay, you don't really need to do that, but that's essentially for this part right here, I think. Just the duh, 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 duh. So yeah, you, we have that automated on. Next, we have an easy reverb thrower, okay? It's pretty simple, you guys can download this. It's got some width right here. Here's the, the rack itself, I guess. It's just reverb, but essentially it's just throwing the decay and I believe the stereo. Went ahead and added a utility. This is just to automate some of the gain in different parts. You don't have to do that as well, it's up to you. And then a utility for the width here at 169. <laughs> spreading it out just a little bit more. And then lastly, an EQ with just some of these fundamental frequencies of a sound. This is kind of just sound matching. You don't have to do this. And then together it should sound like this. There's something about the little bit of overdrive that is happening in Ableton with like a little bit of it clipping that's kind of helping the sound a little bit. It's yeah, it, it sounds very distorted when it's by itself. Yeah. But when it's in the mix, it really, there's like all these like harmonics going on. Yeah. There's like these weird resonances that like add to that weird like key yeah. feeling. You know what I'm saying? And I think the reason why that really, really works is because we're cutting the lows. Every single one of our sounds, usually if it has some type of processing, either saturation, uh, compression, or anything like that, will have have an EQ with a low cut at the end for, for that sound because stuff gets added back in. Yeah, and we're, we're using our ears when we do it where there's no rule of like, oh, we're cutting up to 100, yeah, you know, yeah. cutting up to 200, you know. Uh, everybody always asks us, what's the rule to cut yeah. up to? And we're like, dude, it's it's different every time. Yeah, people say to uh, EQ before compress, press before EQ. It's either one, but at the end, always a low cut if, at being at the end because that needs to be the last thing that has no lows in it no matter what okay so now that we got that i just kind of want to show you guys this little sound this was just in the very beginning i mean you guys can feel free it's literally just a high resonance peak of the same exact sound very very kind of simple the same processing it just has this little sort of crazy thing in we use that to get that little first hit <laughs> Pretty, pretty simple there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Again, make sure you guys go down to our website. The link is in the description right now. You can get this sound for free and the rack, and you can get 20% off out of all of our sounds. If you like sounds like this, definitely check out Technically House in your house. Cartel Volume 3 is a little bit different, but you'll definitely like them all. We're super stoked, man. Yeah, shout out Blue Eclair. Mm -hmm. Go listen to his music. Tell him how he tastes. You Tell know, is it blueberry, blueberry Gang or is it fucking uh, fuck blueberries. Zero Fruit Gang? Hashtag Fuck Blueberries or hashtag Blueberry Gang Heart in blues, the comments. Heart Blues, dude. Heart Blues. Heart Blues. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, a like would be really, really appreciated or a comment. Just let us know what's up. Hopefully you guys are having a great holiday season. We're looking forward to doing a bunch of videos. We got some big things planned for January 1st. So make sure you guys are so staying excited, tuned for dude. that. Make sure you guys go and get that coupon. It'll end on the first. We'll see you guys next time. I don't have any fucking time. Thank Let's you guys go. for watching. Still didn't fucking. I know we never fixed fix it. that.